study just the details of Chrysler's new Pacifica, and it's tough to peg its mission. Very roomy, it would be a great replacement for the town and country minivan, because, well, it is. SUVs are the automotive fashion families want these days, but Pacifica's toned body could pull off yoga pants if cars did that kind of thing. As a parent and a guy that's driven over, I don't know, 800 different vehicles over the years, I can assure you nothing makes family life easier than a van. Kids get in and out easier, plus sliding doors can't ding other cars. A nice touch with the hidden track. Haul full sheets of plywood? Done. Some of the features this specific car has. It can find parking spots and guide itself in probably faster than you and I can. Cross rails store in the rack, always ready for action. Oblivious while backing up? Braking is automatic. I was hoping that would work. My house does not have this many storage nooks, and yes, a vacuum cleaner is available. It's easy to move the front chairs out of the way. Why is that important? Well, Chrysler vehicles are the only ones that can do this. Stow and go seats easily fold into the floor. Middle row chairs must be removed and stored with other vans. These bins can hold toys or sports gear. The chairs are more comfortable now. With seating for eight, one does have to be taken out, but it's light. This setup makes Pacifica supremely useful. The downside, no all-wheel drive. Pacificas have a single powertrain for now. A 3.6 liter V6 with 287 horsepower. Connected to a nine speed automatic that feels well calibrated. Vans get loaded with people and gear. This one moves briskly. You won't have to yell, stop hitting your brother because Pacifica is nearly luxury car quiet. You can use a more civilized tone. I don't care who started it. 2000 bucks buys adaptive cruise control plus auto braking with pedestrian detection. The lane keep assist is aggressive and distracting. I turned it off. None of the vehicles in this class are gonna handle like sports cars, but darned if Chrysler didn't do a good job of tuning the driving dynamics, don't make the kids car sick. In the past, Chrysler has had trouble calibrating its nine speed transmission. I've been paying close attention. Seems like they've finally figured it out. Fuel efficiency is on the higher side in class. I'm seeing 22 miles per gallon. If you want better fuel economy than that, there will be a plug-in hybrid Pacifica that will have an electric only range of 30 miles, but it eliminates the stow and go seating feature because those wells are where the battery pack goes. The cabin, which looks great, gives frazzled parents a warm feeling, at least their hands. Cubbies are easy to clean. The interface is refreshingly clear. Parking for umbrellas is oh so handy and cute. With these kinds of mid-row amenities, kids will never believe your stories of walking to school in the snow, uh, barefoot, uphill, both ways. If forgetting the Xbox is their biggest hardship, onboard games can be played against the computer, or here's a concept, other passengers. Math skills, very important. Car seats don't need to be removed to get to row three. Two full-size adults will easily fit back here, three certainly in a pinch, something not all three row crossovers can say. Not just cup holders, but a place to charge phones too. Using all three rows of seating in an SUV normally means you'll only get four or five packs of this stuff in the cargo hold. Pacifica, 10. Drop row three, which is very, very easy, and Pacifica is a rolling warehouse. I can only physically bring so much TP out before it falls off the cart. This is 20 packs. Pretty sure it swallows 28. As I tell my kids, use your imagination. We don't do that enough. Just in case you don't remember, this is what the original Pacifica looked like. Manufacturers have dressed vans up like crossovers, or in the case of Honda Odyssey and Nissan Quest, just oddly, and the town and country was very square. Maybe that's why demand has shrunk. More than any mainstream vehicle I can think of lately, Pacifica got the attention of friends, neighbors, and just people in parking lots. Making a van appealing to the eye is no small task, so I applaud the design team. 
Even after telling curious folks it was the replacement for the TNC minivan, the overall response was, I will never drive one of those, but this would be great for my family. As if the Pacifica wasn't a van. Starting at under 29 grand, this one goes for about 48. The market has shrunk, but Chrysler is clearly defending the segment they invented, switching out an established name for one from a discontinued crossover shows an eagerness to start fresh. Pacifica is an impressive think outside the box effort. No one does Easter eggs like Chrysler, and in addition to the umbrella shelf, there's this and these little vans on the tray liner. Pacifica can be equipped with a tailgate and side doors that open with a kick. As a guy that loves all aspects of the auto industry, I'm fascinated to see how the marketing for this rig will play out down the road. The positioning of a vehicle is very complex. Who knows why people choose the cars they do? This one doesn't look so much like a van. Time will tell. That is my opinion of the new Chrysler Pacifica. And before I go, let me just say this. I could care less what kind of vehicle anybody buys, just so long as they're happy. It is my job to expose people to different choices. So if you're thinking about a crossover or an SUV, you might just take a peek at this. It's a very well done vehicle. It will make your family's life easy. It really will. Just saying. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.